Huh? <laughs> you overslept, Teach. Pretty rude to keep the fellow waiting like that, wouldn't you say? What's with that surprised look, my friend? You didn't really think I'd given up on you coming back, did you? Can you feel it? A new dawn is finally here. Not just for us, though. No. For all of Fodlan. We were napping, Claude. <laughs> we took a five-year power nap. <laughs> this is very different compared to what we've had in the previous routes. I mean, Claude didn't try and cut our heads off. And he doesn't think that we're an Imperial spy who's trying to kill him or that we're a ghost. You must be insane. Are you hungry? It's time for McDonald's all-day breakfast. The thieves are here. Apparently they're trying to run off with treasures from the monastery. What the? Intruders! Protect the good. <laughs> we took care of that. Are you sufficiently warmed up, Teach? What gives, Professor? <sighs> I was so excited to see everyone again, and then this happens. I'm still tired from the long journey. How did it come to this? Let's all take a moment to catch our breath. Mm, if you've got the spare time to play with those guys, the least you could do is prepare some tea. We were hoping someone would come to back us up when we started routing the bandits. It seems they've been taking advantage of the church's absence and doing whatever they please here. In any case, um, I'm glad that all of you are well. That's the spirit, Marianne. That was fun. In fact, I wouldn't mind romping around some more. So, you were alive this whole time, Professor. I am not surprised. In fact, that is why I came here. And it doesn't look like time has rusted your skills. That's a relief. I'm just glad everyone's alive and well. On that note, let's move this reunion party somewhere else. We could potentially use this place as our base of operations again. Are you suggesting that we fight back against the Empire? I can clean this place up like new. It's not fit for Lady Rhea like this. The Archbishop said if anything should happen to her, that we should entrust the affairs of the Church to you. If you intend to fight alongside the Alliance, then I will follow you as well. Hey, Teach. Will you talk with me a while? I bet you figured this out, but I wasn't born in Fodlan. Where I come from, the people of Fodlan are looked down on as cowards. I need to destroy the prejudices that have taken root in my homeland. That's why I came here, to see Fodlan with my own eyes. I thought I might be able to find a new perspective that could help me change things. And what did I find? That the people here view anyone who's an outsider as a beast of sorts. I was shocked. Even though our cultures and beliefs are completely different, our two lands have that much in common. That's when I realized the only way to change things is to bring the whole world together and start anew. That's the dream I've been working towards since I first entered the Officers' Academy five years ago. To unify the Alliance, and then all of Fodlan, and to bring a new set of values to this new land of mine. After that, I'd expand that vision to the rest of the world, break down the walls, and let a new perspective come rushing in, start all over. Do you think that's just a crazy pipe dream, or a brilliant ambition? So Claude wants to end racism. I suggest that we operate under a new symbol. That's why I've prepared this. You may recognize it as the Crest of Flames, which resides in Teach, the phantom crest that has reappeared after more than a thousand years. We're attempting our own miracle, so it seems like a suitable symbol for us. So, until we welcome the dawn of a new age in Fodlan, let's fight to the very end as one under the symbol of the Crest of Flames. It's a small group, but some Imperial troops are headed this way. The Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy, but we have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. <laughs> all is going to plan. I have had enough of your shit. You're not playing Force Emblem tonight. Clock and this one shot. Go on, go ahead! Kill the. Oh wait a minute! I actually got 
Heroic! You can't defeat us with that many soldiers? The Imperial Army is doomed without a capable general. Quiet! Don't think you'll get away with mocking. So I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. But you're the leader of House Daphne. Is it okay for you to leave your territory unattended? And what about you? Is it okay for you to leave the Regan territory unattended? That's... I... I've left it in the hands of a reliable retainer and... And I've asked that retainer to watch over Daphne territory as well. Wait, wait, wait. You just up and decided to get my retainer to do that without even asking me? No respect, this one. Yeah, yeah Claw got the kill! Oh, God. I'm sorry. Oh, I had thought that, um, killing them, killing Lavi Slada, would end it. But I have to kill these doofuses first. Ugh, great. Alright, bring up the Dimitri. We're killing every last one of them. It's him. Know that I will tear your heads from your shoulders. The dead must have their tribute. As big class reunions go, this one's got to be the worst in history. Years ago, we fought here as classmates. But not today. Kill every last one of them! I will crush anyone who blocks my path. Boy. No. Fuck. No, I have to kill them. <laughs> no. Mounted units, advance. Into the trees? Alright. The Imperial Army is starting to crumble. We will step on the Empire right along with the Alliance troops. To the eternal flames with all of them. Enemy spotted! Go, go, go! Take your unfair positions! This is not a drill! Go, 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 go! Hey, yo! Hey, he's got a healer with crew defense! Not so fast! I see that how that is, game. Raging flames. <laughs> We're adding more fire to the flames. Damn! I've been defeated, but I can't fall here. I must make my retreat. Claude, I'm gonna need another Ash again, alright? This is an angry boar! And I know just what I'm about to do to fuck him up. <laughs> but yes, I've been thinking about how I'm gonna do this for months. I am so impressed. Thank you. Yeah, uh, let me just nuke to do real quick. In the name of his highness, you die here. I can still fight, your highness. Shut up and retreat. You must live to do. All right, that guy is gone. Keep pushing. Nice job, Leone. Are you trying to stop me too? I'll just have to kill you. Oh, to meet you, Dave, and use atrocity. Watch and learn. You're not worth it. Get out of my sight. Got an idea. Good job, Hilda. Well, wow, okay, that's kind of surprising. Clock can actually survive. Calm down, Dimitri. What does it achieve us killing each other here? Move, Claude. I have no time to exchange words with you. It doesn't matter what I'm saying, does it? You aren't even listening. But I'm not gonna budge. So 
Oops! Dodged! I'm sorry, Dimitri. Where are you, Edgar? I will not stop until I kill you! I'm sorry, boy. Clonical head, baby! Still, the battlefield looks awful. And I wonder what became of the Kingdom Army and Dimitri. I saw him. Who? Dimitri? He was completely different from how I remember him. He looked like a crazed demon while he was fighting. He pursued Edelgard as she retreated, but he didn't get far before he collapsed. I saw him surrounded by Imperial troops and pierced by their spears. I'll never forget it. He deserved a better end. My boy. <sighs> Dimitri. He went through so much to make it here, only for his efforts to be in vain. I can't even begin to understand what Dimitri must have been feeling, but there must have been some other way. Why did he have to go like that? Everyone, listen up! From now on, the Almiran forces will be fighting by our side. We'll work as one, and we will bring down that fort together! <laughs> Claude, uniting everyone to fight racism. This ends here! That Almiran Cavalier actually critted! Astria. Uh, that hit me so low, though. Let's do it anyway. If you desire to slay me, follow. The appointed hour is at hand. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. After we defeat the Empire, I intend to tear down the walls that separate Fodlan from the outside world. I want to let people and goods come and go freely, and in doing so, eradicate prejudices about the outside world. Put the plan into action. The bullet did any damage. That wasn't for you. It's over, Lapdog. Your military rule is at its end. For every step you take along that path, our thorns will cut into your heels. Ooh, that sounds painful. I'll have to wear thicker soles for the march. If your boots are too heavy, you won't be able to lift your feet. But enough practice. Yeah. We must place our faith in Her Majesty. Her victory is everything. Huh? Hello there, Dudu. you, Dudu? I heard the Alliance's army had entered the city. I've been searching for you ever since. Wait a minute, that song! It's the King of Lions song! I arrived not long after the battle at Grondor Field. I am here to kill Edelgard. Well, if you want to fight alongside us, we'd be more than happy to have you. We fight for different objectives. I swore to offer Edelgard's head to his highness, but... Should I fail, I will have no choice but to entrust that mission to you. This is the information I have gathered during my time in hiding here. It includes details about the inside of the castle. I appreciate this, but what do you plan to do? Don't tell me you plan to go alone. I've done what I came here to do. Farewell. Hey, wait! He's gone. He's just as hard to understand as his liege was. Our bashful little emperor has locked herself up behind the door of the throne room. The key should be around here somewhere. We need to find whoever's got it and take them out. Yes, we could do that, Claude. My orders? We could do that, Claude. Or I can use the stride 
and warp spells. boy a letter an imperial general asked me to give it to you a letter let's see it it looks like it's from hubert edelgard's vassal if you are reading this letter that means i have perished as her majesty would never surrender to another i can only assume she has fallen as well you must destroy the threat that slithers in the dark Ha! It is laughable that base animals such as you would bear fangs at the likes of us. I may be a base animal, but I have strong allies. Do you think you can beat Teach and the Sword of the Creator? The Sword of the Creator? The blade given to Nemesis? Who do you really think is superior? There's a big difference between the living and the dead. The fate of the future lies in the hands of the living. Strategy in motion! Chronicle hit, baby! Yeah! Oh! Here we go again. For all the Garthens, let there be light! Tactical nuke incoming! Claude, it is time. Got an idea? Okay, I'm gonna Bernie crit. Yeah! Bernie kill. You know, I wonder, is this the first time that we've ever had a final boss who was... Who was abandoned? <laughs> no, right? And a clerical hit. Nice. Sorry, Talus ain't here. Say hi to him for me, just will ya? That sword! You bear the crest of flames, just as I do! Yeah! No! My Dimitri corpse is gone! Time to die. I've got witness my resolve. The seal of racism versus the seal of racism. Who's gonna win? When the king of bandits gets destroyed by a little lolly. Who's lived too long? Allow me to fix that. You are all pathetic weaklings. You lack the courage to challenge. 
comes we in low combat. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us, to reach out our hands in friendship so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win! Future historians will refer to this day as the New Dawn of Fodlan. Of that, I have no doubt. It's up to you now, Teach. As for my path... A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlan. The ambitions of the fell king Nemesis were crushed, averting what could have been the greatest crisis in the history of Fodlan. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. Country, faith, history, all that had once formed the order of the world was wiped clean. The heroes whose very hand saved Fodlan from a dark fate commenced with the building of a new society. The leaders of this new, unified Fodlan began their walk down a seemingly endless path. One towards a world that would cherish differences in race and belief. One where all life would be valued equally. Those leaders clung to the hope that their path would not end with Fodlan, that it would someday span the seas to Dagda and beyond the throat to Almira. 